Good morning students. Welcome back to the same chapter polynomial. So we had gone through a mini exercise with several questions based on formulas that is identities. We had gone through a part 6. Today we will proceed with part 7 with the same exercise 2.5. Let's see what is there in the next slide and questions related to this up at which identities. So let me first arrange uh, the picture so well. Here, the first question number that is 5, it's all about again factorize. We have already seen many questions related to factorize, but today here the factorize total having six terms. The first three that is 4x square plus 9y square plus 16z square. When we look at three terms, it is a perfect square numbers. And back of that again, we have three terms 12xy minus 24yz and 16xz. So total six terms are there. So let's go to the all identities and check uh, which identity have six terms and how it has been factorized. So here I had shown you here the formula that is a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca which can be written as a plus b plus c whole square. This indicates that the first three terms should be the perfect square and the last three terms that is in the form of 2ab plus 2bc and 2ca. So when we look at the first questions that is 4x square plus 9y square plus 16 sorry 12xy minus 24yz minus 16xz it is in the form of a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. That's the way we have to uh, express in the form of a plus b plus c whole square. So let's see how we can do it. So 2x whole square can be written as to represent 4x square plus 3y whole square can be written as to express 9y square and 16z square can be written as 4z whole square plus 12xy can be written as 2 into the value of a and b is 2x and 3y. So we will write 2x into 3y plus 2bc. So 2 is as it is 3y and 4z is the value of b and c plus 2ca. So here again 2 into ca value of c is minus 4z and a value is 2x. So on further simplification of this whole, we can see that this is in the form of a plus b plus c whole square. So it can be written as 2x plus 3y minus 4z whole square. Let's go with the second question. That is 2x square plus y square plus 8z square minus 2 root 2xy plus 4 2 root yz minus 8xz. So when we look at question, here the 2x square plus y square plus 8z square all these three terms cannot seem to be a perfect square. So we have to make it arrangement or in a way we will write that it will express as whole square. So 2x square can be written as root 2x whole square, y square written as minus y whole square plus 2 root 2, sorry, 8z square can be written as minus 2 root 2z whole square plus 2ab. So 2 value of a and b is root 2x into minus y and the value of bc that we will represent as plus 2 bc as 2 minus y into minus 2 root 2 z plus ca 2 ca means so that will be written as 2 into minus 2 root 2 z into root 2 x so the factorize of all this expression can be root 2 x minus y minus 2 root 2 z whole square i hope you getting the question Let's go to the next slide. Here again, the question is write the following cubes in the expanded form. So here, one must 
know the formula of a plus b whole cube then we can be able to solve 2x plus 1 whole cube easily so let's see what is the formula of a plus b whole cube it can be written as a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square so we will express in this form that is the value of 2x plus 1 so here the value of a is 2x and the value of b is 1 so let express as 2x plus 1 whole cube as a plus b whole cube so the first term is a and the second term is b so 2x cube plus 1 cube that is a cube plus b cube plus 3 2x whole square into 1 that is 3a square b in the form plus 3ab square it is in the form of 3ab square that is 3 into 2x into 1 square so for the simplification of this will give you 8x cube plus 1 plus 12x square plus 6x i hope you have understood this here is one more example of same question x minus 2 by 3 y whole cube so again we have the same formula a plus b whole cube equals to a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square so let's keep the value of a and b according to the formula simplification of the formula so here a value is x and b value is 2 by 3 y so a minus b whole cube so a cube that is x cube b cube means plus minus 2 by 3 y whole cube plus 3a square b means 3 into x square into minus 2 by 3y plus 3ab square means 3 into x minus 2 by 3y whole square the complete simplification of this would be x cube minus 8 by 27 y cube minus 20 sorry minus 2 x square y plus 4 by 3 x y square i hope you have understood this so i have made you explain two questions but the rest two are given you as a homework that is above here let me zoom it so you can get it more clear about the question so above this two are the homework 2a minus 3b whole cube and the next one is 3 by 2x plus 1 whole cube i hope you understanding if not don't worry when we will back to school after this quarantine period uh, so i'll make you understand once again briefly on the board let's see what is there in the next slide question number seven it is of same find the value find the following using the suitable identities here the complex number is given that is 99 cube so we have to see that 99 cube we have to express this one first as a plus b whole cube or else a minus b whole cube so we have to describe 99 as a plus b whole cube or else a minus b whole cube let's see what we can do it so we can write 99 uh, whole cube as 100 minus 1 cube so as we know the formula it is of a plus b whole cube kind so a cube plus b cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square so we will keep the value of a b in a b that is 100 and minus 1 according to the formula in their value so we'll get something like this 100 cube plus minus 1 whole cube plus 3 into 100 square into minus 1 plus 3 into 100 into minus 1 whole square so for the simplification of all these will give you 10 lakh minus 1 minus 30,000 plus 300 the whole the simplification of this will be 9 lakh 70,299 I hope you have understood so here I made you explain one question and the next two I had given you as a homework that is of uh, 100 102 whole cube so it can be written as 100 plus 2 whole cube so you will keep the value of a and b that is 100 plus 2 in the given formula and on further simplification you will get the complete answer similarly we have one more question 998 this can again be written as 1000 minus 2 whole cubes value of a will be 1000 and value of b will be minus 2 we'll keep these two values in the given formula and for further simplification you will get the complete answer i hope you understanding and students please don't worry when we will back i'll make you understand all these questions well on the board 
since we are facing this quarantine period, I am understanding that we are not able to uh, give us 100%, but you don't worry, I'll make you understand well on the blackboard. Thank you.